Oh, can you repeat that, Bill? Yeah, I just wanted to know how Maddie is doing. Oh, Maddie's great. Yeah, she's uh, a lot of fun. She's getting older. She's almost done now, so she's keeping uh, keeping us busy, and yeah, it's fun to start playing and get to come home to her. I hope you Thanks have the bouncy having. house ready for the birthday party. How are yeah, you? Yeah, we're gonna keep it COVID. Uh, COVID. But yeah, I will have some fun. How are you approaching this year with uh, with Jock not out there? Do you feel like uh, you're going to be an everyday guy and no more of that platooning? Um, I don't know. You know, I, I don't know that part of the you know the game. I know this uh, you know, this club's got a lot of strings they can pull. So for me, I just I just go out there and I prepare prepare like I'm going to play every single day and. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. But I miss Jock. He's great, you know, good friend of mine, a lot of fun to have. But, um, yeah, it doesn't, whether he's out there or someone else is with me, it doesn't really change how I prepare. What, uh, have you done anything differently going into a 162 season after the, the short season last year? Uh, no, not really. Um you know, we're all used to 162. We weren't really used to the 60. So, you know, that was a little bit of uncharted waters, but uh, just, you know, more or less the same stuff that's been working for me. just kind of just hammering that home and just making that more muscle memory. And then, you know, there's some areas of my game where, uh, you know, I was just trying to more clean up a little bit and, um, you know, outfield, a little stuff there, uh, you know, just a little couple things here and there. Um you know, always in your body and everything is just a work in progress uh, in, a, in your career. You're always, you know, getting smarter, learning some things and adding some stuff, subtracting some things that haven't worked. But it's just, you know, it's cliche, but it's a process and just kind of uh, just kept building, just keep keeping uh, doing the stuff that works and eliminating the stuff that doesn't. Thank you. Yeah. Next question is from Dave Vesta. Go ahead, Dave. Hey. hey, Jay. Sorry, muted. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was just curious. I get ready for the season. Do you do you notice some of the younger guys in camp, like McKinstry, Lux, Rios, and how they're how they're starting to round into shape because you may need them to contribute this year? Yeah, I mean, we're really aware of those guys. We were aware even when they weren't on the team. You know, you see them. You know, you know they're. In, double A or triple A and you just know these guys can play. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're loaded. Um, McKinstry, that guy can absolutely flat out rake. We saw it last year in spring training and, you know, we're, we know we're going to have him. Um, I don't know when, but, um, you know, he's going to be a contributor for sure. And of course, yeah, Lon and, and Eddie. Yeah. I mean, they've, they've already contributed with us and uh, a lot of fun. A lot of the young guys are just a lot of fun to be around a lot of fun to uh, a lot of good energy and um, sure. Yeah. They're all, they're all just refining their game, and um, yeah, we'll see what happens. I know it's a big spring training for a lot of them. Thanks, AJ. Thanks, Dave. Next question is from Jorge Castillo. Go ahead. Hey, what's up, AJ? How are you? Just uh, you had what's 16. On, hey, what's up, man? You had 16 home runs and 210 plate appearances last regular season. I'm just wondering, is that just a matter of staying healthy? Did something? Did you do something differently? Something click? What's the sort of story there? I guess. Um. Yeah, I think you know a lot of it was just the work with uh, you know Brent Brown and Robert Van I mean, some stuff. I think I was kind of fortunate to have a pause button on the season last year. Um, obviously with Maddie, but also just to kind of go back and look at some stuff that wasn't quite working in spring training for me, and you know I was able to work with Brownie and. Um, just kind of cleaning things up, you know, and, and being able to get consistent with stuff that we knew was going to work. And yeah, you just keep building, you keep building, you keep making the right moves when you're hitting. And, you know, I think I just got into some pretty good positions last year. And um, yeah, you don't have to be crazy, crazy, crazy strong in order to hit home runs. You just got to be able to flush the ball and, um, and just be consistent. And um, 
yeah, I'll just keep keep building with it, and we'll see what happens. On the subject of home runs, um, they're saying the ball might be a little different this year. Did you feel anything today, and you know, BPs that you've, that you've done? Yeah, I mean, it's so hard in spring training because you just, you know, they throw in some practice balls in there, and you just don't quite know what you're hitting with. Uh, today, the wind was like was crazy, but yeah, we'll see. I mean, anytime they the ball, uh, usually is not, you know, and it's usually something. So we'll figure out what it is, but. Uh, I'm not going to change the way we, we attack the ball and and uh, and swing. I don't think, but yeah, we'll we'll see. It's probably a good question for later in the spring training. I'm sure guys will notice or, or won't notice, but yeah. And you you mentioned you highlighted Zach McKinstry. We already saw him today doing some stuff out here. Uh, you, you say he breaks. What, what have you seen from him over the last two spring trainings this year and last year? He's just got a really, really advanced uh, approach to play. I think his swing, you know, it's definitely going to play in the big leagues because he's just so uh, – it's compact, it's consistent. Um, he's got a really, really calm demeanor. Um, you don't really see him getting, uh, you know, too rattled, too uh, up or down. He's just um, – he's just super consistent. So I'm excited for him. Um, he's, a, he's a good dude, and uh, his bat is definitely going to play in the big leagues, I think. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, Mark. Go ahead, Ron. Hey, AJ, how's it going? Um, just wanted to see, you know, with how kind of crazy and a whirlwind it was just, you know, going into summer camp for you last year, how, how much easier is it just to kind of, you know, come to the park and prepare for the day-to-day -day and just sort of think about baseball, just mentally, how much easier is it for you this year? Yeah, it just feels normal. You know, last year was, you know, a lot of guys had di difficult situations. So, um, you know, it's not a piece of cake because when I leave here, I go back and Maddie's got a lot of energy and she's, uh, you know, she's moving around right now. So she's keeping me on my toes. And um, But as far as the stress level, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's all good stuff now. So it's, it's nice to be able to go to the park and get my work done, enjoy it there, and then be able to go back and, you know, and just have fun with her. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, AJ. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, guys.